Hey guys, in the fast lane here. You ever try to start your Honda or pretty much any car and it just cranks with the starter but it doesn't ignite? Well, this could be your problem. Pretty much what was happening with this car, you'd start it and it would just, the engine would rotate but it wouldn't fire. And we found that the crank positioning sensor wire got cut off by one of the alternator belts in here. And it's located right here, it plugs in right underneath the intake manifold on the D16s or um, pretty much any Honda, Accord, GSR, B-Series motors. And it goes down here and it just sawed right off from the uh, alternator belt. So we're going to go ahead and use some 3M connectors, connect it. What would have to happen if we wanted to really change out this whole wire is we'd have to take off the valve cover. We'd have to pull probably the power steering line out. Um, take this motor mount off, push up on the motor a little bit or lower it. We'd have to take the crank pulley off, power steering belt, alternator belt, and AC belt just to get to this and take off the timing cover. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to push the wire down and uh, either solder it or use some 3M connectors. So under here on the driver's side, you take off the tire and we're going to come up under here and this is the oil pan. And you can see right there, there's the wire that got cut clean off and now that goes to the crank positioning sensor and the crank positioning sensor actually sits right back in there and it goes underneath the timing cover so it's kind of tough to get to we're going to pull this wire right here we're going to pull it down and we're going to strip the wires out and see if we can reattach them now there's a blue wire a white wire and then there's a silver wire which is more than likely the ground wire there's these 3m connectors i was telling you about Right here on the orange part, you squeeze it down once you put the wire in this little hole right here. And then there's a little metal grid that squishes the wire in there. You don't even have to splice the wire. You just pretty much cut the wire, just like this. You don't even have to splice it. And then you slide the connector right in there and then crimp it. And it's done. So I got one wire on there right now and you just take your pliers and you put it over it and then you crimp it down. Can't really do it on camera because I'm trying to hold the camera and crimp at the same time but just put the pliers like this and you squeeze it down on this orange piece but make sure those wires are all the way back. Here's the final product. Got three 3M connectors on there. You got blue, white, and a silver wire. And now I'm going to shove it back up there right up in like the grid right over here in the valve cover or the side timing cover, not the valve cover. And then it'll go back up and we'll clip it in. Now you guys can see where the crank positioning sensor is going up the wire. It's in the timing cover. You gotta tuck it in there real nice or else it'll hit that belt right there, that alternator belt, and saw it off again. So make sure you do that. Now all that's left is we're just gonna connect it and it goes right underneath the intake manifold. You can see right here. We're gonna plug this one right into there. Start it up and we're done. All right, so when we just parked it here, we tried starting it again, it wouldn't start back up. We got that wire on, and he's gonna go ahead and give it a start right now. There we go. That was the problem. So if you guys run into that problem where you crank and crank, doesn't start, then you try it again and again, and finally it starts, what's happening is, is the crank positioning sensor is not picking up. It's dumping fuel in there, but it's not throwing any spark. And the second that the cam lines up with the cam positioning sensor in the distributor, that's when it'll fire. 